Where are you from? Originally Richmond, Virginia, but I've lived in New York City for the past 10 years. And what was your first break? Ozark. What have you been in? That's a good question. Um, three things, actually. Just Actually, well, two. One was a reality show when I was a kid, and I don't want to talk about that. So, uh, two of Louis C.K.'s shows and uh, Ozark. That's pretty much it. How do you feel about this career? Interesting question. Um, mixed, mostly. But overall, I feel all right. How did you decide to become an actor? I, uh, I liked it. It was fun. I was 14 and I thought it was fun. How would you describe your specialty or type? Man, I don't know. Uh, my specialty? I, I, I would just say uh, eccentric. I guess that's the only like normal thing I could say is baseline eccentric. Who is your favorite actor that you look up to? Does it count if they're dead? Can I say someone dead? Of course. Um, man, probably someone like Betty Davis or Joan Crawford. Both dead. Both good ladies. What would your ideal job be? I mean, I don't know, like when I was a kid and people like, you know, for school, they like asked what you wanted to do and you grew up, I had no answer, but I like this for now. So I still essentially have no answer, but this is all right. Do you consider yourself to be lucky? Yeah, I consider any good fortune that comes at, to anyone, I would, yeah, that's lucky, you know. What advantages do you have? Uh, I... I don't know. The s semantics that I use. Does that even make sense? Probably not. Words. I'm good with words. Would you rather have a car or a diploma? Um, I graduated high school and I have my driver's license. So, I don't even own a car right now, so I guess diploma. But uh, hey, I've already achieved that. It's just not the college one. How do you feel about how interconnected the world is becoming? Um, I think it's all... I mean, it's all becoming interconnected in a very bad way, I think, rather than a good way. So, you know, it's always nice to see that play out, see how everything will conclude. What does the future look like to you? tells me like what my future looks like and I go no way so I don't know the future for the world I'd say probably isn't looking too good but I always like to keep my hopes up but for me I have no idea I roll with the punches how do you feel about having children it seems like a good idea what challenges do you feel the world is facing today uh, more like what challenges are the world not facing today like everyone in every department, you know, with every world issue, it's all bad. It's the way I see it anyway. But you know, there's good that shines through sometimes, not to be totally negative, but I don't know. Like in the news, you never see anything happy, I guess, or, you know, uplifting. It's always something that's going downhill. What are you most grateful for? Oh, baby, uh, my family. What is your favorite way to communicate? calling or in person or or snail mail i love sending letters what is your favorite book film and music right now um i've just finished siddhartha by herman hesse and what movie did i watch oh, i watched i finally finished wild strawberries birdman it took me like three tries to finally finish it because i kept falling asleep not because of the film but because of my own personal sleep schedule and then music Let's see. Um, I listened to the Jesus and Mary Chain while I was getting ready today. 